In this video, we solve problem 3.1.39 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. This is what the problem statement says, and then we've got um, sort of the answer boxes down here. So I'll read this to you, and then we'll answer the question. The question says, the geometric mean is often used in business and economics for finding average rates of change, average rates of growth, or average ratios. Given n values, this is really important, all of which are positive, the geometric mean is the nth root of their product. So when they ask us for the geometric mean later, we're going to have to calculate the nth root of the product of those n values that we started with. Okay, then we've got the rest of the problem statement. It says the average growth rate or the average growth factor for money compounded at annual interest rates of 8.8%, 4.8% and 3.6% can be found by computing the geometric mean of these right here. Notice that 8.8%, if I converted that to decimal form would be 0 0.088. Um, so, if there was not a one here, but it was 0 0.088, that would be the decimal form of that percentage rate. Um, so we're gonna take that percentage rate and then we're gonna multi or, and then we're gonna add one to it. That's what that's what they're computing the geometric mean of. This um, in decimal form, this interest rate, and then you add one to it, this interest rate in decimal form, and then you add one to it, and then you take this interest rate in decimal form and add one to it. Then the question says, find the average growth factor, um, which is this, which can be found by computing the geometric mean. So when they ask for average growth factor, they're asking for the geometric mean. And again, if you have n numbers, the geometric mean is the nth root of their product, provided that all those numbers are positive. Okay, so then, then let's answer this first question and then we'll look at the second part. This says the average growth factor is blank, and we're asked to round to four decimal places. So I've got three numbers, and I want the geometric mean of these three numbers. So I'm given three numbers, so n equals three. And the geometric mean is the nth root of their, their product. So we're going to take the third root of the product of these three numbers. So the answer is this, the third root of 1.088 times 1.048 times 1.036, or if you prefer, remember from uh, pre-calculus, the third root is the same as this product, all raised to the one third power, because we've got this rule from Precalculus. If you're taking the nth root of x to the m, that's x to the m over n. Whatever the index of that root is, that goes in the denominator. So the third root of a product is that product to the one third power. This um, exponent here goes in the numerator. There's an implied one there, so we're going to have a one. And then the index of the root um, goes in the denominator. So we can calculate this using this. Just multiply those three numbers together. And then raise the whole thing to the one third power. And then we want to round to three decimal places, or four decimal places, because that's what we were asked to do. So I'll just multiply these on my calculator. And then I will use the exponent button and then raise it to the one third power. So it's the answer raised to the one over three. And then I want to round to four decimal places. So we look at the fifth decimal place, which happens to be a zero. So we're just gonna keep that one the same. So the answer here is, oops, 1.0571. Okay, then let's look at the rest of the question. It says, what single percentage growth rate would be the same as having three successive growth rates 
of this, this, and this. And then it asks, is that the same as the mean of those three numbers? Well, the single percentage growth rate that would be the same as having the um, three successive growth rates of these guys, which remember correspond to these numbers here, comes from just looking at this and finding the percentage that would go with that. So if I want that single percentage growth rate, I'm ignoring the one and then I'm moving the decimal over twice. So that's gonna be 5.71%. And it says round to two decimal places. And that's what we get there. So let me write that down. I said that, but I didn't write it down for you. You're going to take your answer for that average growth factor and you're trying to find the annual interest rate that's associated with this. So to do that, you subtract one, and then you take that answer and you multiply by 100%. And remember what happens when you multiply by 100, you're just moving the decimal over twice. And so you get 5.71%. And I believe they ask one more question. The question says, is that, this, uh, is that result the same as the mean of those three numbers? Well, we can find out. Let's compute the mean of those three numbers. The mean of those three numbers just comes from adding them together. And since we have three of them, we'll divide by three. So I've got 8.8 .8 plus 4.8 plus 3.6 divided by three. Uh, it's 5.733%. And that three is actually repeating. And I actually don't know, I forgot um, to check on this, how many decimal places um, my lab statistics wants for this answer. But that's the mean and it is not the same as that 5.71%. No, 5.71% is not the same as the traditional mean, which is called the arithmetic mean, if you prefer. This is the geometric mean, and the other one, this one, is called the arithmetic mean. So this is the arithmetic mean or the traditional mean. What, it's usually what we mean when we say mean, if that makes sense. Okay. I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any other questions.